working for labor ready slash people ready now. I was driving past the I was driving past the old office on Edgewater and Lee Road and noticed a sign that read "Daily Work for Daily Pay." I didn't believe companies exist that pay you the same day you work. That is what convinced me to give Labor Ready a try. My next day off, I went to Labor Ready to apply. You had to fill out the usual paperwork followed by a survey that is similar to Taco Bell survey that determines if you get hired. The survey is, a sim is simple, however, a lot of people fail for being too honest. Example, questions might be due questions that might be on the test that's on the test do you smoke marijuana they give you four answers to choose from then on the next page they change the question to something like if the supervisor asks you to smoke marijuana with them will you go smoke marijuana or will you go tell they try to catch you in a lie like we do you ask someone something then you change the question around until you catch them in a lie that's how this survey is Believe it or not, a lot of candidates fail the test. If you fail the test, you can't reapply for a year. If you pass, you can move on to the next step in the process, which is more paperwork, meaning your tax form, etc. For me, lay ready to start off as extra money on the weekends. Then when my regular job cut my hours, I would make the rest sometimes more at labor ready. Whenever I lost a job, I came to lay ready full time. Working out the Edgewater office, the first 20 people to sign the sign-in sheet was guaranteed to work every day. That's when Labor Day had the auto option. That job was guaranteed 12 hours or better. We could work around the clock at this option. That option is also where I taught myself how to drive a stick shift car. I came back to Labor Day in 2007 after not working for Labor Day in a few years. All I had to do was update my basic info and fill out my tax form. When I started working out the central office, the gunslinger was the job that drew in the crowd. You work eight hours, get paid for 10, 10 hours, get paid for 12, etc., etc. At first, I was nervous to try the job until I noticed another coworker who was short as I am that worked the garbage truck daily at that moment. I knew I could handle it. Labor to had other stable assignments that I had the privilege to work. One was general cleaner at most, if not all, the new house complex where the army base used to be around Winter Park High School. At this time, Labor they had two companies' vans to take workers back and forth to work and were known as workforce until Labor they brought them out. I returned to Labor Ready in 2010. Workforce is now Labor Ready. They had one company van to transfer workers to work to work that was only to be used to get gunslingers to work. I work a lot of short short hours assignments meaning four hours a day until I made a name for myself. That I did through the trash truck, only thing different was you get paid for what you work, meaning you get paid for what you work, nothing extra. I worked trash every day for two years because it was guaranteed good hours every week. I wear garbage in the rain and cold weather. That comes with the job. I was ready to work other assignments because trash wouldn't allow me to work overtime. I had the privilege to work H and H. That's a juice plant that hired a lot of laborers through labor ready. H and H was a stable job. Nine of days is not stable, and that assignment is at another branch. Since I helped fill that assignment every blue moon. I worked a roofing delivery helper assignment through all three offices they have. There's another steady assignment that Labor Day can't keep steady workers on. Some workers was hired on at H&H that started at Labor Ready. They are planning to a stable job throughout all the offices. The downside, the downside you know there always has to be a downside. Now that Labor Ready is now people ready to have an office just for paying workers, people ready brought a lot of new rules to the table. I started to notice the change when I was working Hurricane Matthew cleanup in Daytona Beach. The pay always open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Friday, 8 to 10, then 3 to 4 on Saturday. There have been days where I get off at 4 p.m. don't get paid until 8 p.m. That's after watching my manager fast my time sheet in and still end up waiting. After going through this for three weeks, 
happening once a week. I told things, I took things to the next level. I started writing complaints on people read a Facebook page and inbox. Eventually someone got in touch with me. This is how the convo went. I explained what was going on. She explained everything. People read a change that each brand is supposed to feel workers in on. One, there's no more daily work for daily pay policy, meaning there's a slim chance of you getting paid each day. The pay center have to verify every time she to try to to try to prevent forgery. That means if anything unusual is on is on your time sheet that would prolong you getting paid. The pay center have until 8 p.m. to pay you. That means you work at four hours time, you could be waiting until 8 p.m. to be paid. This happened to me Wednesday. My name was handwritten on a time sheet because the dispatcher was too lazy to reprint the time sheet. I worked the four hour night assignment, emailed the time sheet and within 20 minutes, the other two workers was paid and I and I was paid after 9 a.m. the next morning. I constantly emailed the time sheet, couldn't get no reply from the pay center. It had, it had come down to workers have to accept whatever pay people read it and the pay center dish out to us or find somewhere else to work. Another issue is people ready can barely keep steady workers for the pay center. That issue can prolong you getting paid. I've seen a lot of workers quit people ready since November due to taking too long to get paid. When I was working Hurricane Matthew Restoration in Daytona Beach, we won't get it. We won't get it paid until the next night. The office dispatcher says she sends the time sheet in every night at 7 p.m., but somehow we don't get paid until late afternoon the next day. That is why I went to find a regular job. I had enough of the nonsense. I continue to I continue to work part time at People Ready for extra money. I used to recommend people to work at People Ready, but now I want too much nonsense to deal with. People Ready also have a mobile app where you can book your own assignment, but the app has too many issues that haven't been fixed. Be Ready also have job alerts that get text to your phone all kinds of crazy hours. Yeah, one over one override the other. The job alert is supposed to be the best option to keep workers out the office, but most still arrive at the office. Why send out job alerts when you have office full of people of workers? The only time the job alerts are good is for late assignments. Other than that, I don't see a reason for the job alerts. I enjoy working for people ready for the extra money that comes in handy. I made videos of every assignment I work my way on. How I, how I want to remember my life once I get the career I am currently working toward. I forgot to mention trash truck required drug tests and background check. Any violent charges, you won't be able to work trash. If you have your own car, you are guaranteed work every day through, through job alerts and coming to the office. Each worker you ride to work is supposed to pay the driver $4 each day. Make sure you remain on top of that. Them workers have are full of excuses. I hope this video don't scare nobody from working for people ready. I feel everyone needs to know what they are getting into before getting into it. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel, Raymond Tackler Forever, and feel free to look at some of my other videos. That way you will see the kind of job assignments you will be doing through Labor Ready, also known as people ready.